Hello travel friends. I'm standing here on Bainstrasse in Cologne, right in front of the Novotel Köln city. Marcel is with me today and together we want to take a closer look at this hotel. It goes on as soon as we are in our room, because it is very noisy out here on the street. We have now received our key cards. Our room is number 432 on the fourth floor. And there we are. Let me put my bag down for a moment and then we will start our tour of the room. And let's go. At the reception it was just a bit crowded. I found that to be less than ideal. The receptionist said to a family that the hotel was fully booked in the context of the currently bookable rooms and the context of the pandemic. At the same time there is only one employee at the reception and that at a time in the afternoon when most of the guests want to check in. I find that a little bit less for a four-star hotel. At least, during peak hours, more staff should it have been provided here. There are now quite inscrutable queues there, as everyone tries to keep a distance of two meters. However, there is not enough space in the lobby, so that people are now standing in all directions. Another problem was that the hand sanitizer at the entrance was already empty. In the current time, I expect this to be checked regularly. If we were in a budget hotel I wouldn't criticize these things. In a four-star hotel I have a different expectation. But now let's start our tour. We start here at the door. We don't have a peephole here, but we have an escape plan and door lock here. Here we need our key card, otherwise we will not have any light in the room. And already it gets light. This is a standard room. That looks pretty good at first glance. Let's take a look in the closet. The closet is lighted, and has six good quality hangers. That might be enough for one night. For a longer stay with two people however, it is tight. We still have a few compartments, extra blankets and a bag for the laundry service. I find the design of the furniture appealing. Here is the luggage rack. It is permanently installed and offers enough space. This is where the sideboard is located. It includes a refrigerator. There is only a bottle of water in it. I am not sure if this is free. I don't see a price list lying anywhere here. The glasses are here next to the refrigerator. Behind this door is the safe with operating instructions. And above it just this strange board. On the sideboard there is a kettle, two cups and a little, tea, coffee, milk, sugar and so on. Then we have the area with the gigantic TV for the size of the room.
Below is the desk with a rollable chair. It looks very nice and makes good use of the space in terms of shape. The depth is of course limited on the right, but there is more than enough space for a normal notebook and some accessories. However, we only have one outlet here. That is little. Next to it is a socket for the telephone and the switch for the desk lamp. This can be swiveled and is also equipped with a halogen lamp. LED technology has not yet found its way into this area. It seems to be from around 2003 when this hotel was built. The downside is that it generates quite a bit of heat, but on top of that, it's very convenient for working. In the meantime Marcel has made himself comfortable on the sofa. This is also apparently just a sofa. Or is it a third bed? I would have thought it at first, since the additional bedding was in the closet. But as far as we could find out, it's actually just a sofa. This is also quite comfortable for sitting. But I would also consider it less suitable for sleeping. Now we come to the view from the window. The view here is in the direction of the southern part of the city. This is the side facing away from the river line. However, it is also turned away from the busy road. Which makes the location pleasantly quiet here. The window can only be tilted and not fully opened. In addition, the room also has air conditioning. Now let's take a closer look at the bed. The modern bedside tables look a bit like chairs that have lost their feet. But sometimes that's modern design. They definitely serve their purpose. There are also two USB ports that can be used to charge devices, but no real socket. So if you want to charge something that cannot be charged via USB, then you have to use the socket on the desk. But we have these lovely swivel night lamps here. I appreciate these very much because you can adjust them on one side but also fold them away so that they don't accidentally hang on your face at night. The phone is now here on this bedside table. Unfortunately, it fills it almost completely. I would have preferred the phone to be at the desk. And here we also find a real socket. Here you can connect or charge any device you want. Marcel has switched on the air conditioning in the meantime. This works powerfully, but also with a corresponding background noise. I'll make adjustments here for a moment, because 10 degrees Celsius is a bit too cold for me. And finally, of course, we also take a look at the bathroom. There is a large mirror next to the bathroom door. In the bathroom, the wash basin is fitted exactly between the wall and the shower. 
As in many other hotels, soap and shower gel are only provided in dispensers at the Novotel. Unfortunately, the dispenser is still as good as empty, which is also not allowed to happen in a hotel of this class. Personally, I like the design of the wash basin itself with the shelf underneath it very much. Unfortunately there is only one towel rail for two people. At least there are two hooks for the shower towels. Here is the toilet, equipped with two rolls of paper. The design of the paper holder is practical but very unadorned. There is a vanity mirror in the bathroom, as well as a hair dryer, which also appears to be of decent quality. There is also a universal socket here, so that, for example, razors from different countries can be connected here. Let's move on to the shower. There is a small step at the entrance. The shower cubicle cannot be closed. There is only one fixed glass element. But the shower is so big that the open area shouldn't be a big problem here. The wall cladding seems to have been renewed at some point. It's not about tiles, but some kind of metal or something. It looks pretty good though. The dispenser in the shower doesn't seem to be particularly full either. That was the bathroom. It's not overly big. I will now quickly unpack my black light so that we can see whether the bathroom has been cleaned properly. We can start right away. Marcel has just turned on the television, which shows a really clear and sharp picture. There is also a speaker in the bathroom that transmits the sound from the TV. We turn off the lights in the bathroom so that we can see more when testing with the black light. Let's start at the sink. The sink itself is very clean except for some dust. The wall behind it, however, is not perfectly cleaned. There's a bit of dust here on the shelf. That could have been removed better. The wall under the sink is also not clean. The shower, on the other hand, leaves a good impression in terms of cleanliness. The same problem with the cleanliness of the walls can be seen around the toilet. Stains all over here on the wall and in the area where the toilet brush is. The upper part of the walls and the toilet itself have been cleaned well. It was only in the areas that could not be easily reached that one was simply too careless.
Before we get to the first conclusion, I will first wash my hands briefly. We have now completed our room tow. Fortunately, there was just enough soap in the dispenser that I could wash my hands. But we forgot to take a closer look at the bed. We'll catch up on that quickly. The bed linen looks clean and is fresh enough. The bed itself has a medium hardness. It should therefore meet the wishes of most guests. Let's briefly summarize. We paid 78 euros for the double room, without breakfast. It's not particularly expensive, but not particularly cheap either. Rather in the middle price range. For the Novotel mark a bit on the cheap side. My first impression of the performance for the price is a bit mixed. The location of the hotel is quite favorable for our purposes today. This was also the reason why I chose it. In the old town in particular, however, there are many hotels that are more idyllic and where the surroundings are much more appealing than here on the main thoroughfare. Then we had the problem that there were not enough staff at the front desk. In addition, there are the small flaws in the cleanliness. These are not overwhelming but they do need to be addressed with a hotel in this class. Overall, I would have liked a little more perfection here. The room, on the other hand, is modern and attractive, so there is no reason for criticism. We didn't book breakfast. It would have cost 19 euros extra. In addition, there are the COVID-related restrictions, so that we would have to decide on a time beforehand and then only have a certain time window for breakfast. We thought we could have breakfast in a cafe for less money. That's it for now. I'll tell you tomorrow morning how we slept. A warm good morning here from the Novotel in Cologne. We took advantage of the night. Last night we were so exhausted that we were back in the room very early and allowed ourselves a long sleep. We slept very well. The bed is of a very good quality and comfortable. It is also very quiet and there were no background noises from the hallway or the neighboring rooms. Only the air conditioning is quite loud when you set it to the highest level. At medium level, however, the noise is tolerable. I noticed another problem in the bathroom. The water pressure in the shower is so low that you have to squeeze yourself directly under the shower head so that you can shower properly. That is something that must not happen in such a modern and not cheap hotel. Overall, our stay was satisfactory. However, I would have liked more quality at some points. Especially when you consider that with our rate of 78 euros we paid a price at the lower limit for this hotel. If I now imagine that I could have quickly paid more than 100 euros for the same service with the aforementioned deficiencies at another date, then I would have been rather dissatisfied. In conclusion, I can therefore say a pretty good basic product, but it still leaves room for improvement in terms of service and details. With that I say goodbye for today. Thanks for watching the video, stay safe and see you soon.